Hey guys, it's Nicole. So, I know I'm pretty dark right now because you're not going to be focusing on me today. You're going to be focusing on this. Um, so I've had a couple people talk about how I do my flat lays now and how I photograph and had some people asking for some videos. So I decided tonight was the night and I would kind of take you guys through a few of the pieces as I photograph them. So I take all my photos on my handy dandy iPhone 6 Plus. I am waiting for my 7 to come in the mail, but it's not due to even be shipped until the end of November. Um, it was like two months back ordered, which is fun. So anyway, I'm still taking photos on this iPhone, um, and I will continue to take photos on an iPhone. It's just easy, and it's good quality photos. It's everything you need. Um, so a couple things. When I am taking photos on my iPhone, I always put it into the square setting. So that is really important to make sure you have it in the square setting, because on eBay, right, and on Poshmark, your photos come up in the square setting. Um, so yeah, I always do that. So you can have it in the photo setting or you can have it, there's video. We don't want video. We want the square setting. Um, okay. So I have a couple things here. Let me focus it back to here. Okay. Right, so I have a bunch of different fabrics. I have a pink one back there and then I have this gray one and this blue one. I mainly use the blue one. I'm finding that the blue one looks best with most things, but I also use the gray one a lot. So I lay them both out so I can easily switch back and forth. Um, up here, too, there we go. These are all the shoes that I think I'm going to be using this time. And then I have some uh, scarves up there. It's winter, so I like these wintery blanket scarves. So I'll use those in some of mine as well. So I have a chunky scarf. I don't like to use a ton of accessories, um, but you can. I mean, it's totally your prerogative, right? I also like to use shoes that I currently have for sale um, because it makes sense, right? Like. I have all these shoes right now for sale. If I'm taking photos and using them for Poshmark, it makes sense um, to use shoes that I have in my closet because someone might see the shoes as well. And then I can use that photo with the shoes and it just makes sense to me. Um, so anyway, yeah, I look pretty gross. It's fine, no big deal. You're gonna not be looking at me. So I'm doing a dress right now. You can see that I have the dress laid out. One thing about this dress, and I know the view isn't that good. I was trying to get a good view for you guys. This was as good as it was gonna get. It's hard when I'm doing this by myself, but you can kind of see it through my phone as well. Um, so with the dress, I am still going to be taking a square photo of it. You can kind of see that I have it at an angle back there. I'm going to go ahead and find a pair of shoes that I'd like to go with it. Let's get it back a little bit. I have two lights set up and they are pointing down onto the thing. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to be using these black pumps with it. And I will just put the pumps here. I'm gonna lay one on its side, maybe both of them on its side. Um, you gotta remember that you're taking this from an overhead, so you wanna be looking down. When you have both shoes standing up, it just doesn't look as good as laying down. So making it flat, you know? You don't wanna have one thing super tall and one thing flat. You want it to be nice and even. Um, okay, so I'll put my shoes nice. You want to make sure everything's even. I'm seeing a lot of photos, you guys, and you're not putting everything in the middle. So you'll have everything kind of slightly to the right, slightly to the left, or unaligned. You want to make sure things are even. So you see how I have this dress tilted this way, and then I have the tray up here, because when I make a square, it's kind of filling up the whole square then. The top is smaller than the bottom, so I put the tray at the top. If, the, if it had long sleeves or something like that, then I might put the tray at the bottom. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, okay, so then from there, I'm just going to stand up and grab a couple shots here. Wanna make sure it's nice and aligned. I need to tilt it a little bit more. There we go. Gotta get the whole thing in the photo. <clears throat> and da da. Sometimes it takes a second. Sometimes you have to play with it the first time to try and get it aligned correctly. And then now this needs to be. Boop, boop. There we go. Okay, let's see here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take my first photo straight from the top, going down, and ta-da. Shoes didn't look quite right. I'm gonna pull them down a little bit. There we go. And it usually doesn't take this long for a photo, guys. This is way taking way too long. I don't know why it's taking this long. Let's close. Put it right here. There we go. Okay, so check it out. This is the photo that I took and that I was happy with. Right? Looks pretty good. Now here are some of the photos that I took that I am not happy with. This, the tray was out of the photo. I didn't like that. Oh, that's something I sold earlier. I guess I only took the one. But for this, I didn't like how there was a lot of empty space and the tray was out. Now, if something was filling this right here, I wouldn't mind, but it's not. So yeah, that's why I didn't do it that way. There we go. Um, next up, I will take a close-up photo of the top Close-up photo of the tag. Close-up photo of some detailing. So it has this cool zipper right here. And then I will flip it over. And I will get my lint roller out because unfortunately this fur really, really uh, does a number on my pieces. That's okay. Lint rollers are inexpensive. My lint rollers. They also do a number on my pants, so if you guys see lint all over my nose, that's fine. Okay, stand back up. I get a lot of exercise doing these. Make sure my foot isn't in there. And then take another photo. I also like to get the fabric hair tag, and then this has a lining, so I want to show that it has a lining in it. So I will just take a quick photo. No. So here's the fabric care tag. I'm going to go ahead and just include a photo of the fabric care tag. And then I will lay it straight again. And I will pull this up and take a quick shot of it. With the liner. Maybe my phone isn't running work. Sometimes it does this. It's a little bit neat. I need a new phone. There we go. Okay. So here's all the photos I took, guys. <sighs> From start to finish. That's going to be my main photo, my cover photo, per se. That is the up close photo. There's a photo of the tag, a photo of some details, a photo of the back, and a photo of the lining. I thought I also got a photo of the tag. That's weird. My camera was being weird. Okay. Anyway, you get it. Those are the photos I took. Now, on to the next thing. So I'll fold this up. I've got a bin back here that I'm using. There we go. I put my shoes away. I'm done using these shoes for that. And I have everything over here that I'm photographing. So next thing I'm photographing is this little maroon shirt. This is actually a find that I got today, the Copal's. Um, and I got this for $5 today. These shirts retail for $200 or so. It's a nice little silk blouse. Total score. Total score. Um, okay, so for this, I'm going to move my tray over here. And then I will take this and I will just lay it flat. I'm not going to use shoes or anything in this one. I don't think I need to. And I like to angle them a little bit. You want to make sure everything's straight, guys. So I see also a lot of photos where things just aren't straight or, you know, make sure your sleeves are in the right position or shoes, like something won't be pushed up. Like, just make sure everything is how it should look. Um, every detail matters. And you'll get really fast at this. This is taking me a long time. Usually I'd already be done with, you know, three or four things. Um, but since I'm explaining it to you, it's taking me a little bit longer. Make sure the hem is straight like it's supposed to be. You know, you don't want to have a weird, uneven hem. You want to have a straight hem. Okay, there we go. There's my shirt. So again, I'm going to, this one I probably just need to be on my knees. Make sure it's in the square format. And take a photo of this bad boy. I'm going to take a photo of this nice zipper detail that it has. 
And then I'm going to take a photo up close of the tag. And this is 100% silk. I want to make sure that people know that. So I will take a photo of the care tag here. Sometimes these are hard to get. My assistant tapes them down, like she keeps a little piece of tape and she'll tape the back of it. It's really smart. Um, okay, and then again, it's got some cute pleats in the back, so I want to make sure that I get that. Making sure that these cap sleeves are perfect. Making sure that the line is perfect. There we go. Oops, there we go. Love it, but it will do. Okay, guys. So here are hi. Here are these photos. Let's start at the beginning. So here's the photo that I'm going to use for my cover photo, an up close photo, the tag, more tags, and the back. So since I can only have four photos on my um, Poshmark thing, what I will actually do is I'll do, I'll use this photo, this photo, so there's two, and then I'll take this photo and this photo and I'll put it together in one of those apps. I have like a photo stitch app. Um, so that would be three, and then the back will be four. So it's pretty easy to get your four photos. Sometimes you do have to stitch them together. Sometimes you don't, but in this case, I will. And then I'm just gonna fold it up and put it in here, and we're on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing is just another shirt. Um, it's another shirt I got today. I paid $4.99 for it. It's a great brand. Joy, there we go. Again, a silk shirt. And the shirt has these pretty sleeves. I wanna make sure that I lay it right, you know? It's got kind of a high-low hem. So when I lay it down, I wanna take the time to make sure that I'm laying it right. Now this one, I'm gonna say I could do on the blue or I could do on the gray, and either one would look Pretty good and that's kind of why I leave this in the middle because I sometimes just lay it in the middle and I look for a second and I think hmm which one would look better so this time I'm gonna go with the blue the already on the blue and it's easy so I've been using this tray I don't need to use this tray I'm using this tray to kind of trademark my photos um, because it does give me that like Oh, those are her photos. There's, oh, there's that tray. There's the girl that I bought from before. Those are her photos. So I really hope that none of you go out and buy this tray to use in your photos. Please don't do that. Find your own trademarky thing that you put in your photos. That is the smart thing to do. Okay. Boom. And then we have a pocket over here. So I want to take, make sure to take a picture of that pocket. And then up here, the tag. And again, I want to get a picture of the care tag, and I will crop those together later. And then the back, and the back has this nice opening. When you lay it down, lay it down like this, watch. Right, back to front. I'm telling you, it's way better than just trying to lay it down and then straightening it out. You're never gonna get it where you want it to go. Take it and swoop it down. Just like that, just like that gonna look way better. Alright, there we go, we did it. Okay, and then again, we will get our square photo, and we will take a couple photos. Okay, so here are the photos I got for that. Whew. It is exercise, I'm telling you. Okay, oh that light, move! Okay, first photo, Yeesh, me, me. Let me try and get this looking better. There you go. First photo. There we go. Tag. There's something in that. No. There we go. The back photo and then an up close photo of the back. So, you guys get the point. That's kind of how we do shirts. Um, it's not too bad. It's pretty easy. You get the hang of it pretty quickly and you can go really, really fast. Okay, what do we have? Ooh. Um, okay, so I have some pants. So these are actually base layer pants. Oh, my nose. And for pants, I have a whole other thing I 
So for pants, I like to take a bunch of photos. So um, the cover shot photo that I've been capturing and liking pretty well, I take the legs and I put the legs over here, kind of make them even with my tray, and then I fold the pants over and then I kind of straighten out the hems, make sure all the hems are straight and all bunched up. And then you can kind of see the front flat leg and you can see the back pants. Makes a nice little square. I'll take some photos really fast here. And then I will do the same with the back. So I will lay these down. And again, you can see how I lay it and drag it. That makes it nice and flat, guys. Do, do, do. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold them like this so you can see the line of it. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to put this in the tray. And then I'm also going to do one open. So I'm going to completely open it. I'll do this front and back and then I will crop them together into a square with the app. Oh, I'm actually going to take and change this to the regular photo setting for these long pants. And I'll take, and I'll take one photo and then I will flip it over and I will take the back photo. And there you have it. Okay, right, so pants. It's getting easy, right guys? It's pretty easy. Okay, right, that looks pretty nice. I wish it was less wrinkled. If I really wanted to take the time, I can flatten that all out, but I'm just gonna leave it. Um, there is the tag, and I made sure to get a picture of the tag and the um, icebreaker on whatever, the waist, and that is on purpose, guys. That wasn't an accident. There's the back. There's it folded like that so you can see the legs. And then here's the front and the back. I'll take those two pictures together and I'll put them into a square. Um, I think it's called like stitch, pitch stitch or something. There's a million photograph apps that allow you to do that. So, Whew, okay. Oh, I have something fun and we're going to use some I got this today. How fun is this guys? This is a Dutch Brothers ugly Christmas sweater. Ah, it's so cute. Totally not the same. So, I was thinking that we would use one of those scarves, but maybe we don't even need to. This kind of speaks for itself, you know? Like, I could take it and lay it on one of the scarves, but I think I can just flat lay it. Okay, so long sleeve shirt, though. I'm still going to put my tray in my photo because I'm putting it in all of my photos. Um, this does have some cool, like it says Dutch Brothers on the sleeves. So what I'll do is I'll take it, I'll open the sleeve and I'll lay it like that. And then this one also says Dutch Brothers, but I want to give it some, you know, character there. So I'll plop it up like that and leave it like that. And nice and flat, nice and flat. Stand up. And take my photo. Take a photo of the tag. Take lots of photos of details on this one. It is just so cool. And then I will show that it's on this side as well. Do -do -do. I really want to get some details. Okay. And then we'll flip it over and do the same on the back. So I kind of like to fold my uh, sleeves in because you want them to stay in the square. So I fold them pretty close next to the body so that they can do that. But I still leave a little bit of room. Um, that way you can see that, you know, it is a sleeve and it's not, you can kind of see the shape of it when you do that. Okay. So. Just take a photo quick like that. Another quick detail photo. And then a fabric content photo. There we go. And I will be done. Um, this 
sweater is so fun. Okay. So here's the sweater. Right? You can't really see the tray, but it's still in there. There's the tag. There's an up close photo. Another up close photo. Just another fun photo to show that both of those are like that. Dutch Mafia guy. The back. One more close up. And the tag. So yeah, nice and easy, guys. It does not have to be hard. It can actually be pretty fast. I don't have to take um, anything on and off a mannequin. I can do this really quickly. So here's my next item. Here I have this. I got this today. Uh, Paper Moon for Stitch Fix. It's got a little thread. Okay. You guys probably don't want to see my nose. It's fine. Okay. And let's down some. Again, I'm just making sure that it's laying nice and flat. It does have some tab sleeves. So I'm gonna roll these up some just to kind of show the detail on that guy. And again over here. Da -da. Okay, make sure that these look nice. The tag is showing, it's pleated in the front, so I wanna make sure those pretty pleats are showing. And then I will take an Photo. I'm going to take a photo of these pleats. Take a photo over here of this guy. I'm actually going to flip this tag over. There we go. And then I'm going to flip it over. And again, what do we do? Just like that just like that okay okay yeah there we go there we go i swear sometimes i'm like these videos are gonna be so boring if i make them and they are kind of boring because i'm just snapping photos right so maybe i'll tell some stories and you guys can watch me and i'll tell some stories um what happened today i went to goodwill i had two hours in goodwill and i found some crazy stuff i found basically everything that i've been photographing so far I love finding Stitch Fix stuff. I really want to get together like a brand list of Stitch Fix for you guys because whew, this stuff sells so well. There's the tab sleeve. There's the tag. You'll notice in the first photo, the tag was the other side. And I flipped it over. There's the back. The back has this cool cutout. And that's it. Nice and easy. Yeah, so good build today. It was super fun. Um... God, it felt like I just kept getting better and better stuff. I forgot how much I love shopping at Mainline Goodwill. I haven't been doing it much. And the stuff they have there is just so good. It's expensive. I'm not making the same profit, but as long as I can double or triple my money, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, that's all that matters to me. So here's LuLaRoe. This brand is hot, 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 hot. This I put up for 50 bucks and I bet it will sell immediately. Okay, so this has kind of funky sleeves. It needs to be sweater shaped a little bit, I just noticed. Sweater shaver right there. Always keep your sweater shaver handy. You might have missed something when you're building the listing. I build my listings first uh, most of the time, so I try and clean things when I'm building the listing. But sweater shaving is easy to do. This is my favorite sweater shaver. It's by Evercare and I got it at Target. Target has a couple different Evercare ones but this little one is my favorite. It's much more powerful than the bigger one that they have there surprisingly. I have the bigger one too and the smaller one. I bought the smaller one originally and then I was like oh I want to get the bigger one and then I was like whoa my smaller one works way better. I'm on my second smaller one because I killed my first one. I use it so much. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I did the, the 
swoop. I'm gonna fold the sleeves over. So LuLaRoe is like a mom home based, you know, Tupperware. I feel like that's always the easiest way to describe these types of brands. Um, party where they, or a thing where they come to your house and they throw parties and they do all that fun stuff. And it sells really well. I think they do like limited runs of their fabrics. And so, and not every consultant can get it. It's like, I don't know. The way they run their business is smart. Well, the way they run their business makes it so people want their stuff, I should say. Some detail photos. The arm out. Because if it's hard to get and everybody's wearing it and you want it too and you can't get it, it makes you want it that much more. We always want what we can't have, right? And so that's why eBay is so crazy good for these pieces. Um, and then the consultants have to sign a contract saying that they won't sell on eBay. So and they'll just sell them at like the prices that they're meant to sell them at, which is like $35 for a shirt or something. Um, yeah, it makes it nice for people like me. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I should just go to a party and like <laughs> buy a bunch of stuff and resell it if it's like a hot fabric. But I'm sure that's rather fun too. So I'll just keep finding it at their stores for $4.99. I'd rather pay $4.99 anyway. Here we go. But I know some of the Halloween patterns were selling recently for like $100 for a pair of leggings. Well, that's just crazy to me. I'm just gonna keep taking photos now, guys, and then I'll show them to you at the end here. Um, what else happened today? So I sat in front of the couch, or on the couch, in front of the TV, with my kids, and listed for a long time. I really miss having my assistant. Oh, I was going to do this whole thing where I thought I would be able to draft 100 for the list. It just hasn't happened. It's really hard. Um, and it's really only my fault. I just get distracted. This is a Millie of New York dress. 100% silk. Uh, leopard print shift dress that I paid $10 for today. I guess this is kind of like a haul video and a how-to video mixed into one. Woo! Okay, what am I doing? Whoosh! Whoosh! Um, all the buttons are buttoned. It's super cute. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I wish I had places to wear things like this too because oh, I just love this dress. This dress is amazing. Oh, it's so cute, you guys. Okay, I'll stop now. Um, okay, let's see. What am I doing? So I think I'm going to have to tilt this one. I thought I might not have to, but I think I will. And since I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a pair of shoes that I think will look cute with this. Again, I think it's going to be those classic, oh, we could go with these nude pumps. Oh, we could go with these. I think I'll do these again. I love these shoes. I kind of never want them to sell because I've been using them as props so often. So I'm like, oh, maybe so. And I think because the sleeves are here, I'm actually going to be putting this bottom. Boop. Great thing about it being a tray. Just move it on down. Okay, so corner this. There we go. Nice little fabric piece. Boop, boop. Put that right there. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Gotta stand up for pieces like this. Everybody stand up. They sing that song at my daughter's school. They do yoga and they sing this like, everybody stand up. And my daughter's always singing it now. It's always stuck in my head. Oh, the shoes do not look good right now. Hold on. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta play with your stuff. That sounded wrong. Sometimes you gotta play with your photo props. There we go. Let's try this again. I'll show you guys the difference in a second here. Good enough. We'll take a photo of this bad boy. I'll show the size too. So I'll take two photos. There we go. And I'll take a photo of the sleeves because the sleeves have these fun buttons. Take a photo of the lining. Take a photo of the care tag. <sighs> okay, what else is happening in my world today? I did about $400 in sales today, which is pretty average. It's been very, very steady for me. 400 
on eBay, 100 on Posh, almost every day. Um, I don't think I even made any Posh sales today, but I haven't been really been cross-posting. I haven't really been listing, period, you guys. Ugh, I don't even know if I should be giving you advice because I haven't been taking my own advice. But I've been shopping. <sighs> Isn't that the problem as a reseller? You shop, and you shop, and you shop, and you don't work. Okay, let's turn this over. Ooh. But if it's not listing, it's not selling, and if it's not selling, you're not making money, and if you're not making money, you're not gonna pay rent. Ooh. Isn't that always a dilemma? You're not gonna pay rent. You're not gonna go to Disneyland. Yeah, so back to work for me the next two days. Joe and I are gonna go see a movie Monday morning. It's a little date morning. It's nice when both kids are in school now because we can have date mornings and not worry about getting a babysitter, not worry about having time away from them. We like to spend our time with them. What else has happened in the eBay world? Nothing exciting. Things have been selling. Um, it's so boring right now. Maybe I'll wrap this up with you guys. Um, I think you get the picture, right? You can use accessories if you want to. You don't really have to. It's a fun thing to do sometimes. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this up because there's not much more I can show you as far as the photos go. That's about it. Um, I do do mannequin photos still too, so I'll do a different video about that. But for maxi dresses and things like that, they're just easier. Okay, let me show you the photos I took, the last one. I told you these pants. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, here's the LuLaRoe. This is not my favorite photo ever, but here it is. Boop. Detail photo. I wanted to show that the shape of the arm there. The dad? The back. The care dad. The dress. Okay, so here we go. First photo. Look at those shoes. They look real awkward, right? They're not in the right area. Way better. Bump, 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 bump. So yeah, making sure your shoes are in the right spot really matters. There's the tag. Okay, so this one that I took, it didn't show the size. So I just moved it down some and then it had the size. So I didn't have to take two photos. I didn't have to take a photo of the tag and this detailing. I could do it both in one. So anytime that you can get two in one photos, big thumbs up. There's a picture of that, that's uh, lining, it shows that it's lined, and then the fabric, and then the back, another detail photo, boom, done. Anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful, um, I have so much work to do. Oh, I got myself a shirt today, you wanna see it? I'll show you, it's really, it's really cute, Ugh. Oh my gosh, so I got this and I was gonna sell it, but then I was like, oh, this would be perfect for Christmas time. Oh, I love it so much. Love it. It's by um, the company that makes like Betty Page clothing, so like pinup girl vintage style clothing. But it's got these baby deer on it, and it's so cute. And it'll be perfect for Christmas. Look at little baby deers. Ooh, I love this shirt. It's got these little flutter sleeves. And usually I don't wear stuff like this. I don't wear like patterns or print or whatever. But um yeah sometimes like christmas time it's okay to get crazy you know my hair will be done my hair will be done and i'll have a christmas shirt on we're going sledding on christmas day i probably won't wear the sledding but i can wear it when we're drinking hot cocoa inside of the little clubhousey thing oh gosh yeah okay anyway guys i'm sorry i can wear it when we take pictures of santa because clearly i'm going to take pictures of santa um yeah that's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. I hope it was helpful. I'm sorry I look like this. This is what I look like when I work. I'm not going to wear makeup. You got to let your skin breathe. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I'm dwelling. Good night. Goodbye. Get to work. Get to listing. I hope this video was helpful. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.